Hello everyone, welcome again in another video. Today I'm showing you the exact NVIDIA 3D settings and Windows optimization you actually need to stabilize your frame time and boost FPS. Just performance, let's fix it, no more FPS drops. So before NVIDIA 3D settings, there is actually uh, something for people like with the 8 GB of RAM, very used this software, which is Wise Memory Optimizer. I'm gonna keep the official download link in the description. What this program do is actually very helpful because it should help you also to clear the standby RAM. So as you see here, I'm having uh, 10 available gigabytes of RAM, but one gigabyte is being cached. You can have more, like you don't turn off your computer correctly or never clean your RAM cache so that's why people even with 16 gigabytes these days find it difficult to have some uh, free RAM space so let's see the difference over here I'm gonna optimize look cache over here almost hit 2 gigabytes so after the optimization we're having 12.5 gigabytes of available memory as you see over here so that's good and uh, you can set this program to keep running automatically the background you can uh, run it on windows startup if you want i prefer to do it manually and you should enable the auto optimization when the available memory is less than for me i set it to 30 percent and run when the cpu is idle is recommended and it will keep running in the background another thing is go to this pc right click over here properties and we're gonna find advanced settings <coughs> go to performance make sure you do the same then we go to advanced for the virtual memory we change it and you should like uh, increase the value of the this is the c drive this is this is the ssd drive you should increase the value of the custom size to for example 8 gigabytes set it for the maximum and the minimum and you press it and okay for me i'm using 2.5 gigabytes from the C, uh, from the C drive, which is the SSD, and another 13 gigabytes from another hard drive. And that's why you can see over here that I have 31 gigabytes committed in total. This virtual memory really helped me to run some heavy games on my computer, even with a low specs. That's it. And now let's go to the NVIDIA 3D. So first of all, over here. You should use the advanced 3D image settings. Set this to quality and then click on use the advanced 3D image settings. You press take me there. And uh, over here, try to copy the same settings I have. For the image scaling, it's off. I'm going to close it off. This one, make it application controlled. FXAI off, gamma correction off, mode application controlled, transparency off, background application max frame rate off. Here for the CUDA GPUs, make sure you it's all and you select your uh, GPU. Press OK. This one keep it drive of default. DSR off. Low latency mode, <clears throat> I change it to on. Max frame rate off. Multi frame sample AI off. And copy everything else. Make sure for the OpenGL rendering GPU is select your GPU. For power management mode, you prefer maximum performance. And that's it. Copy everything else as it is. For the quality here, we have high quality. 
for better visibility of course in games that's it I'm gonna press apply over here for the configure sound you should check your GPU for the resolution you choose your best uh, resolution and the maximum refresh rate you have for me it's just PC. and for Nvidia color settings make sure you copy the same these are the color settings brightness 55 trust 52 with the gamma 1.14 and that's it. For this one, I prefer using no scaling, uh, performance scaling, I just mean. And for the resolution, you choose the resolution you like. For me, I prefer the, this one. That's it. Use uh, this one. Disable this option. Also, there is another thing you can do, which is go into display settings, scroll down, you go to graphics settings, and then you should add Battlefield 6 over here. But before that, make sure you turn off the hardware accelerator GPU scheduling because it will cause some uh, FPS drops in your game. And you browse to find your Battlefield 6 file, exe file. For my case, because I use EA, the game is in EA, so here where you can find the game, I'm gonna keep the path in the description. Because for Steam, they have uh, another path, I'm gonna keep it in the description. And this is the file we're gonna choose. You click and you add it to the list over here. You click options and make sure it's high performance to use the GPU. You save. Also, make sure you clean those same files before playing any game. Same for this folder. I'm gonna keep the path in the description. Delete everything. And then you should go to the recycle bin and empty everything. And also, before playing your game, try to stop the services that you don't need, for example this one, and make sure the startup type is manual, and you stop it, apply, OK. Because many services keep running in the background and consume a lot of RAM and CPU, and that's what causes your drop. FPS inside your game. Don't forget to restart your PC or these changes won't stick. And also, I'll put everything you need in the description. Next one. Thanks for watching.